Before we get very far into our next story, we do have a warning for you tonight. What you're about to see and hear may not be suitable for children. Some of the language is very graphic. Not all music stars, as you know, are model citizens. Some have had run-ins with the law. That's certainly nothing new. But now a few musicians have taken that to new heights or to new depths. They're accused of committing crimes ranging from sexual assault to murder. The arrest of three big-name rap stars in recent weeks has intensified the debate over rap music itself. Now, you may never have heard of some of these stars, but your kids have. They're heroes to a whole new generation. Tonight, take a walk in their world. Here's Elizabeth Vargas. Now, a freak is a freak and a hoe is a hoe. It's vulgar. Just don't go to hell. It's violent. Why do I call myself a nigga, you ask me? And it's very, very popular. Gangsta rap, the angriest kind of rap music. It glorifies brutality and sex. It's not only an inner city rage. Black and white kids all around the country have made rap the hottest selling billion dollar music of the 90s. Rap is the hottest thing going. It's at the top of the pop music charts. I like the bass beat and I like the message that the rappers are putting out now. And a handful of gangster rap superstars are not just singing about being mean and nasty and vicious. They're accused of living up to their lyrics. Snoop Doggy Dog. His album Doggy Style was the hottest selling album in the country this week, beating out everyone from Pearl Jam to Sinatra. In October, while he was out on bail for a weapons violation charge, Los Angeles police arrested Snoop and charged him with murder. Tupac Shakur, rap star and movie star, was arrested in New York and charged with sodomy and sexual assault. Atlanta cops had arrested Tupac less than a month earlier for shooting two off-duty police officers. I'm the epitome of public enemy. And Flavor Flav of the rap group Public Enemy was charged a month ago with attempted murder. New York police say he took a shot at a neighbor. Uh, I've been regarding uh, recently the news as you have. Names like Tupac Shakur, Flavor Flav, Snoop Doggy Dog. Reverend Calvin Butts is leading a crusade against violent rap from his pulpit in Harlem. We're not against rap. We're not against rappers. But we are against those thugs who disgrace our community, our women, who disgrace our culture, and who have absolutely nothing of redemptive value to offer except the legacy of violence and sexual assault and foul language. Butts got so angry, he organized a rap stomping. I may have more in common with a white man who loves humanity than I do with a black man who thinks that he ought to call all women bees and hoes. And um, so, you know, there is some point where we can't be pushed into this car and say, well, you know, for the sake of unity, we ought to just keep this quiet. But ain't that a bitch? We've always had the oppressor that wanting to call our women bitches, but we always fought against it. We didn't spread it or to call us niggas. We always fought against it. We, we didn't perpetuate it. But now it's your own people calling. Now we're getting paid to say that which we've always fought against. This is East Long Beach, California, Snoop Doggy Dog's hood, the place where he grew up. People here are so proud of him. One local record store even put a doghouse on its roof to promote his new album. It is a place where gangs, guns, and drugs are a part of everyday life. The irony is that now that it's so cool to be tough, some say Snoop's murder charge may actually help him sell more records. What's my name? A lot of kids are wearing gangsta clothes, adopting gangsta's tough attitudes, and even gangsta rap fans say it isn't just posing, it can lead to violence. Now, even white kids know that, I don't know. They all have guns, and like, they think it's cool, like, they come out in my gym, like, they're all showing me, like, different guns, like, they're bigger blades, they're like, oh, this is cool, look at the blade I got, look at the gun. Oh, I'm gonna go after school, I'm gonna go rob this kid, like, it's fun. And 
They've seen in the videos, because in all the videos, they're always carrying guns. You've seen them shooting people down, smoking weed, drinking, drinking beer all in the videos. And they make them think like it's cool and like that it's good. And, that's what, and then the kids take that up and then they're all doing it in my school and that's why. But rappers and the record industry say that music isn't causing the violence. Violence is causing the music. Move back, mother. Onyx, a gangster rap band, is on Def Jam, a label that took founder Russell Simmons from rap to riches, earning him hundreds of millions of dollars. I don't think that the music or the artists that, that express um, um, those realities are, are creating the violence. I think they're the messengers. I think you don't shoot the messengers. Basically, gangster rap, I guess it's like telling the real and not holding back, giving up, you know, the reality from the street point of view and like by us being from the streets we know how to report it I tell you know basically what's going on easy e grew up on the mean streets of compton california he's a gangster rap original with a long police rap sheet and a top 10 pop album they say rap promotes violence and gangster rap does this and everything else and I don't think gangster rap promotes violence at all. I think it's the person, you know. A song, a rap song, doesn't make a person go out and shoot people or go out and rape people and everything else. I think it's the person. I have some lyrics here from some of the songs that you've done in your career. And to be very honest, many of this, much of this I can't even say on television. But I want to read some of this to you. Um, so what about the bitch that got shot? F her. You think I care about a bitch? I ain't a sucker. Right. Um, Songs That's titled... not talking about women, though. What is it talking about? A lot about? of them, bitches. It's a difference. I figure a bitch is uh, someone that does, like, scandalous things to you. You have, another, <laughs> you have another song called Real Niggas. Why do you guys call yourself this word that has well, been... We, so have, we, didn't, we didn't give ourselves this name now. <laughs> but right now in society, you guys are calling yourself... Right. Niggers a lot but more than we didn't give ourselves that name. People have been calling us niggers for years, and so we carry that word. We right now the word is like saying homeboy. The fact is that there are a lot of gangster records right now. Uh, there's a lot of voices for people who had no voice before. And when Sticky Fingers said, "I hate your guts, and I hope you die," my name is Sticky Fingers. My life is a lie. I want you to feel it in your chest. I want you to understand, he's third generation 40 projects, and he's that mad. Maybe if there were jobs there, he wouldn't be as angry. But in the meantime, he might rob you. And that's a reality. That's a reality that, that white America has to live with. That's a reality that kids in Boise, Idaho are just beginning to understand. Gangster rap is so controversial that some record companies are putting out two versions of gangsta music videos with and without guns because MTV won't air gratuitous violence. And some radio stations are now refusing to play violent rap songs. Let's take um, the current record by Snoop Dogg. He makes a reference to 187 on an undercover cop. 187 is the California police code for murder. There's no consequence expressed in any of these actions. This is a simple glorification of doing these types of things. Those types of records we don't want aired on V103.9. Reverend Jesse Jackson thinks gangster rap is perpetuating the problem of black-on-black -black violence. He is talking boycott. Record companies that, uh, that make money off of for pain and degradation must be challenged to stop doing it. And challenged then, how? What well, do you... In some instances, they must be boycotted. We must take the profit out of the pain. Do you think these rap artists have a responsibility to their community as role models to these kids? Indeed, the rap artists have a responsibility. Those who pay them have a responsibility. But those who set the context have an even greater responsibility. If there were not such easy access to guns, and drugs, and so much unemployment, and so much abandonment, the rapper would be abstract. The painful reality is that the rapping is real. And somehow I get the impression that, that basic white mass media was to focus on, on, on rap and not reality. And I say, if you're going to cover violence, 
cover reality, not just rap. Rap is an, an extension of the culture. Let's break up the violence in the culture. Sorry. And I hope y'all put that on camera because that's real. I mean, don't, don't just pick and choose stuff out here to fit me on one side and the rappers on the other. These are our children in trouble. They are in pain. And if I talk back, you ready to beat me down fast, G? Just like Rodney King. But it Gangster, he was in here like five years. You just got out of, you just got out of prison. About eight months. What were you in for? For an assault on another gang member. When I was inside a, uh, like a halfway house of a youth home. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now you're a rapper? I'm a rapper. Writer. A writer. A arranger. Everything. So this music that is being so maligned is actually kind of giving you a purpose in life and something instructive it's to do. me the only the only avenue i felt i had you know in a lot of songs and a lot of videos you, you, they're featured um young men with guns that sort of thing young any of you guys carry guns do you incriminate mm -hmm. ourselves on you camera no, no, no we don't carry guns we carry switch with a smile <laughs> i mean really seriously do you, you carry guns no. <laughs> no? So you guys don't? You feel like you don't have to? It's just the life that we live, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just where we stay, I mean, you never know what can happen. There's people dying every day that you know. And every day, rapper wannabes flock to record executives, hoping to rap their way to the big money. You gonna continue making a lot of money off of this, do you think? Basically, as long as you got people that want to learn about all this, and they want to hear it, you know. As long as it's violence, it's going to be rap music, gangster rap music, or whatever. Now, as for those three rappers in trouble, Tupac Shakur today pled innocent to charges that he shot and wounded two off-duty police officers, and Snoop Doggy Dog plans to plead not guilty to all the charges against him. Flavor Flav is currently in drug rehabilitation. He'll be indicted in two weeks.